outside of Bowling Green called Central City, Kentucky. Heard of Yeah. There is where a 20-year-old... How many of these rat hole places in Kentucky will we have to go through when we go to Owensboro? We just gotta go through Bowling Green, Franklin, Kentucky, and Louisville, and Deluca, and Deluca. Paducah, uh, ain't that ain't that lovely? No, no, no offense. I don't want to go through there. Well, at least you get a chance to beat the crap out of them and they're on their field first. Yeah. Sort sort of. Yeah. And and but and let's and let's put it this way, folks. Like I said, Central City, Kentucky. Most of you have not heard of this case though. This case came back from nineteen eighty seven. I was six when this happened. 20-year-old Karina Mullen was found dead in the trunk of her own car in a parking structure across the street from the Central City Police Department where she worked. I wonder why. First of all, the police officer who found her was Sergeant Billy Fields. Mm. Oh, oh, wait a minute. I think I know where you're going with this. Because I think Suspects and they went exactly to that same Thank place. you! Kentucky. Yes! In, in Mayfield, Kentucky. Yes. And Billy, and Billy Fields and his goons that were on payroll down in that rat hole. No. Nope. The only two goons that he had were a drug dealer by the name of Jeffrey Boyd and a drug addict, Joey Kramer. Jimmy, Jimmy somebody, right? Jim, no. Jimmy Springer was Karina Mullins' boyfriend. They had him falsely arrested because they because he tried to pin that murder on him, and he left her daughter without her mama. And Billy Fields got away with that issue almost two decades until another police detective who picked up where the first one left off because the first one smelled the cover up right away and suspected it was Billy Fields because he was just trying to destroy the evidence that would implicate him. He did back in 2002 of cancer. The second tech had ticked up where he left off and he talked to the young lady. Not only did she say that she was there when Karina was killed, that she was also a victim of rape too. Because not only did Phil's raped her, Jeffrey Boyd and Tommy Kramer had raped her too. Those three goons. They beat, raped, and sodomized a 20-year-old woman. They sodomized her with a steel pipe. Uh, and, I, I remember this case because the voiceover dude, not the, not, the, not the dude before they finished out Unusual Suspects. This is like the beginning of Usual Suspects. Yeah. With the voiceover dude. Yes. You want, to talk about, you want to talk about going back in the heyday of Unusual Suspects. That was it. Yeah. He, not only that, he grabbed the sheets that was on Karina Mullins' bed. He was trying to get rid of any evidence that implicate that would implicate him and his two goons. He didn't do such a good job because it was after Billy Fields retired from the police department as lieutenant. They went into his old desk and found the evidence he was trying to suppress. They tested that evidence. It came back to those three goons. Not only did they arrest it, Boyd for drug distribution, same thing with Kramer. They arrested him with rape, murder, and manslaughter, and Sergeant Fields with the same thing too. Yep. And the ringleader of the three man of the three man idiot gang. I'm trying to think, did one of them commit suicide? Or did all three of them get sentences? Yeah. That's one thing I forgot. Yeah. That's one thing that the city of Central the people of Central City want to forget was that case. They want to forget it. Oh, all three of them did get sentenced. Okay, because I wasn't sure how long. Uh, Bailey Fields so. got sentenced to die. Well, yeah. Well, well, based on his age, they commuted his death sentence to life. 
He's gonna die either way. He was gonna die either way. He was gonna die either way. Yeah. I think I just let him rot. Where is he now? She has the mirror. She went up to CC's. Wait, who is CC? Tanya. Who? Next to Miss Ned. Next to Miss Ned. Kayla. You know Kayla. Uh, Kayla don't just live right here. No, Kayla lives there now. Wait. At 10.04. 10.04? Yeah. Yeah, 10.06. She went to the back there back there? Yes. 10.06. And this is ridiculous. You and we and we see types of things like this every day: police brutality, excessive force, misuse of authority, abuse of authority. It's all got to stop, folks. I mean, for no reason. Yes. For no reason. Yes. Stupidity upon stupidity upon stupidity. And this country is now full of people who do stupid shit. Now, part of my French, we got some stupid people. And as of recently, I just watched 2020 last night. Larissa Wright's ex-wife and her lover have just been sentenced to life in Memphis prison. And it took the police 10 years to try them. To get TJ. What time to go? To get TJ. A decade to try these fools. What are you trying to do? I'm doing a podcast, nigga. <laughs> yeah, it took a decade. The man went missing around July of 2010. It took a decade to find out he was killed by his ex-wife. She hired somebody to kill him. Not only did they arrest the hitman, he rolled over on the woman to get a lighter sentence. And oh yeah, there was another. There was another headline that I saw where a guy and his fiance are charged with basically holding a kid who was twelve hostage. When will we learn? When will you learn, folks? When will you learn? I know, I know the world is a bad place right now, but we don't need to add any more badness to this world. And let's see, the other kids that they were taking care of were fed, were going to school, got all the attention that they needed, while this poor 12-year-old kid was chained to a bed and looking monitors like he was five. Yeah, that reminded me of a case out of Detroit. About two young ladies who were staying with this family, and the eldest sister, Sylvia Likens, was killed by this family. I believe I remember that case. Then, then there was another unusual suspect where an 11 year old kid, where the mom was looking for her son, and then they find out later that the sister in law or somebody like that basically drowned the poor kid. Your own family. Folks, that one, that's just that saying. That's still, just saying that you being. Still hurts. Folks, we are you people who are doing these things. You are major league twits right now. I'm calling you on it. You're idiots. You're dumb. You're stupid. You don't deserve to have kids. Y'all all should have been castrated. I want to say y'all should be castrated, but that would made everything worse. Well, at least Ariel Castro, thank God he's no longer living. He don't took it upon himself to kill himself. And I mean, and I mean that in the nicest way. He was wrong for what he did to all three of those girls when they were younger for the last 10 years. Back in 2003. Kidnapped them, raped them, had sex with them, two had gotten pregnant. Man, one had a miscarriage, and the other one just gave birth to his daughter, who is now 13. With TJ. 
And at this rate, and she and her mother says she better be glad she doesn't know who her father is. Because when the neighbors saw the kid coming out the door, they called the police. And that's how they found all three of them. They found Castro and arrested him, but they let his brothers go because his brothers had no clue that their brother was doing this. And they didn't. That man's house is no longer there. It's just now an empty lot. That that house, that spot where his house used to sit at is an empty lot. And as for Castro himself, like I said, he took the cow's way out when his bed was so high he couldn't make it. He couldn't get 10% of $8 million. The highest in Ohio's history. I mean, do you have $800,000 lying around somewhere? You're tired of it? I'm tired of it. Yeah. Because sure, the brothers sure don't. They want nothing to do with him. They said let him rot. So he hung himself. And believe me, he's rotting 12 feet under. Right to the earth's crust. Let him stay there. Let his flesh melt. Karens in the world. All you loose cannon Karens who want to butt the system and don't want to pay for the consequences. Well, you know what? They'll get theirs eventually. Sure. I think one Karen already did. She called the police on a black man for bird watching. <laughs> oh, I remember that was stupid. Anyway. Yeah. You think? The guy's just trying to enjoy and live his life. Yeah. Damn. Calling police some people. I literally, I, I literally want to jump through the radio and just whack her. Yeah. Oh, Lord. How can you be stupid? Let us all count the ways. I'm not on the phone, Mama. Let's see, selling water while black, walking while black, jogging while black, exercising while black, swimming in the pool while black, barbecuing while black, going to the store while black. Hey, here's a brand new one if you ever heard of it. Walking while black in the night, wearing your night clothes. Yeah, at 2 a.m. in the morning. Yeah, recently a Riley, North Carolina woman, a mother of three, Went to see about her friend because her, she thinks her friend is suicidal. She got to her car and a police officer told her to get out the car put her hands on her head. And when they asked what's wrong, they just placed the house on her and said that the car that she got was registered to a woman who had warrants. 
She said that was impossible. She recently just bought that car. So she had to call the...